Hey everybody, this is Aroka. Thanks so much for stopping by for another video. Well, I finally made it to the Sulfurious Challenge Mode dungeon, and while it took a little bit of work, I'm going to show you how I did it, so hopefully you can get through it a little easier than I did. I did have to spend a little bit of time leveling up, but there's not a very difficult fight, and with a little bit of strategy, you can do it too. So because this dungeon consists of all fire heroes, including the boss, it was logical and more strategic to bring in a team of all water heroes so we could gain that damage advantage. My original composition was Igarok for tanking and taunting, obviously Yasmin for healing, Yorick for his buffs and debuffs, and then also uh, Ice Pick for the extra damage. While going through the platforms was relatively easy with this composition, when I got to the boss, Yasmin was taken out in the literal first round, and even though I was able to complete that fight successfully as a two-star using a resurrect potion, for me that's not the kind of perfection I want. So as you're traveling through the dungeon, you'll notice that there's really only three platforms before you get to the actual boss, which makes it really nice because when they're longer or when you have more of these platforms before you get to the boss then typically there's a greater risk for having one of your heroes get killed uh, because of heal timing or just uh, being picked on by the enemies for one of your heroes whatever the case may be so it's really not too bad in any case if there's going to be any particular uh, mob that you'll encounter on these platforms prior to getting to the boss. It's definitely going to be the fire bovis versions that you'll run across. These guys seem to hit pretty hard and um, they can definitely do quite a bit of damage. Now you'll see that once you're done with that fourth platform, this will take you up to the edge of the cliff. And this is where you're going to end up encountering Sulfurus. Comes down from the sky, hangs on the edge of the cliff, and this is where the fight will continue. So at the beginning of this fight, my goal here is to try to um, get my Igarok to be taunted. You'll see, and I'm not 100% confirmed about this, but it seems like he attacks the lowest HP person first before you ever get a chance to do anything. So to prevent that from happening to some of the more fragile people, I went ahead and taunted with Igarok. Now here I'm putting the Mark of Death onto Sulfurus um, from Yorick and um, I automatically heal him to try to remove that burn. Even though he's a water hero, it still does quite a bit of damage. And you'll see here that Sulfurus does two attacks. He does a fireball and then he also does a bite, which does quite a bit of damage. You'll see already, uh, just from one round of, get, of taking hits, uh, he's down to half health. I go ahead and use um, Yorick's armor break, which is really important because right now we're, we want to do a lot of damage. We are set up to do a lot of damage right now. I'm healing up my Igarok tank. He's going to take another round of hits. There's the bite. So now he's really critically low. And I went ahead and decided to go ahead and use a heal potion because I don't think he was going to make it another round, especially with the taunt, even though it just fell off right here. So we do the polar pound and that takes a massive chunk out of Sulfurus. He is already dead and I can't even finish talking uh, about it <laughs> because he's dead so fast. So this was really uh, for me the way to go. Uh, it was a good team. The only problem is trying to survive in this particular strategy uh, setting up Yorick to put the two buffs on. The marked for death and um, the armor break is really what makes Polar Pound so so. Uh, incredibly powerful and anybody else's attack from that point forward in any case i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you found it informative the fight is very identical to the normal version of this fight that you probably already encountered we're just dealing with some different uh hp levels for the boss some higher hitting attacks um and uh, the strategy here is pretty sound in getting forward. Now, I know that there are some people out here who don't have Vigorok and may not have some of the other uh, maybe slightly harder to get heroes like Ice Pick. However, this strategy could be done by replacing whatever tank you have. Um, and Yorick is a really common uh, type of hero, and that's really where the strategy for all of this comes from. Uh, with his uh, Mark for Death and the Armor Break, that's really what's going to help out your other heroes. So I believe that anything you could substitute to those uh, four as long as they play the role of the tank or the healer or whatever you should be fine anyway thank you so much for watching i appreciate it if you haven't already done so please subscribe and uh, feel free to comment if you have any different suggestions or uh, something that worked for you that was different from this i would certainly uh, like to hear that and i'm sure some of the other uh, subscribers would as well thanks so much for watching and i will see you at the next video